hey everyone and welcome to this video today i'll be uh, using the transformation tool in order to synthesize mechanisms in cinderella so here we are knowing the three positions of the coupler this is the first position this is the second and this is the third and uh, i'll be using the transformation tool so in order to know about more about it i have already made a video regarding this so first to check out that video i'll be putting its link in the uh, description tab for all of you to check out so let's begin with how uh, this is gonna work about so a and b are two points that are there on the ground and what I'm gonna do is uh, construct this link a e and g b okay uh, so this is the second second position of the um, mechanism now what I'm gonna do is uh, define a transformation First, go to translation, click, click from E to C. So we have this transformation. So this EG line moves to this point. So what I'm doing is uh, moving the second position of the mechanism to the first position. And similarly, I will be doing with the third position of the mechanism to the first. Now, uh, I'm doing this because of the fact that uh, since we know the links that are connected to a uh, coupler are two cranks. And obviously, if we see uh, one point of the crank with respect to other, or the, the locus of it is always a circle. So when I'll be transposing uh, this mechanism to the first position, I'll get two uh, one position of a and uh, similarly another position of b and similarly i'll be transposing the third position to the first position so again i'll get one more position of a and one more position of b so uh, i'll construct uh, two circles with three points of a and three points of b and their center will give me the length of the required cranks and we'll get the desired mechanism so let's begin with this So I define a rotation, this, and then I click, go to modes, click move, E to C. So as you can see, I have first translated this entire uh, second position to the first position, and now I'm gonna rotate this. Click on rotate. Now, as you can see, this point L and this point M, point L is the second uh, point uh, of the position of the point A uh, when it's uh, put in the first position. And similarly, point M is uh, the second position of point B. And obviously, uh, when you're transposing, uh, whenever shifting this uh, position 2 to position 1, uh, these points A and B do not remain on the ground. They are detached from the ground in order to construct the mechanism. Now similarly, uh, we'll be uh, shifting this uh, third position to the first one. So again, uh, we'll be constructing this links. And then uh, we're going to define a translation. Then we are going to move this line FH to uh, using this FC uh, transformation tool and this line goes to this position. And similarly, we're going to move uh, this line using this. So as you can see, this link is the translated position of the third position of the mechanism. And now we're going to uh, define a rotation for this as well. So in order to make the final positions much more clearer, what I'll be doing is uh, defining quadrilaterals about this so that uh, the entire diagram becomes much more clearer. 
so we go to the quadrilateral option and then we'll construct the quadrilateral so when we shifted the second mechanism a uh, second position of the uh, mechanism to the first one and then rotate and translated it so uh, this was the one which we had got and similarly for the third position I'm going to change its color to in order to differentiate both. So as you can see, uh, the red one denotes uh, when the position of the third uh, mechan mechanism is shifted to one and then rotated and translated. And this uh, green quadrilateral is the one with, when the second uh, mechanism, se second position is trans tr translated and rotated to the first one. So points N, M, B are the three points of corresponding to B and now we'll be basically passing a circle through these three points. So we'll go to conics. Sorry, we'll go to this option uh, and then uh, we're going to select these points N, point M and point B. So we get a circle and the center of this circle would correspond, would correspond to uh, one end point of a coupler. And similarly, we're going to select the three points corresponding to A, which are L, A and O. Uh, now we're going to find the center of these two circles and our mechanism would be constructed. So now uh, we're going to join uh, points N to M and M to B and then we are going to draw the perpendicular bisector to those and we will get the center of the circle. So first of all join N to M and M to B. And then find the midpoint using this option. Select M. Uh, so we'll get uh, the midpoint P of NM and similarly M and point Q is the midpoint of MB. So we are going to draw a line perpendicular to this and we find the center of the circle. So point R is the center of this circle which corresponds to one point end point of the coupler and similarly we are going to repeat the process for this circle as well. to make perpendicular line to this we will just zoom it up a bit uh, using this option so now again uh, select this line drop or per uh, drop perpendicular line and then zoom out a bit So as you can see, this point U is the uh, second point of the coupler that I was talking about and points A, U, B, R uh, make the mechanism of this. So let me show this by another quadrilateral. So the blue quadrilateral basically shows our mechanism which satisfies these three positions of coupler. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave comments below and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like. I'll be bringing up a lot more great videos ahead. Thanks.